What's up guys, Austin Evie only here. Today we're working on this Tesla Model 3. We're gonna change the battery. It's super simple. Uh, this is the pre-lithium ion. This is the lead acid battery that needs to be changed. It's actually super simple, but I wanted to go through the steps because some folks have never done it before. Let's get to it. My name is Kevin. I'm the owner of Austin Evie only. If you're new to the channel, we do repairs on all models of Tesla and the Chevy Volt Fiat 500 electric, and the list is growing every day. If you're new here, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. It'd mean a lot to us and help others find our channel. Okay, let's see if we can get in the car here. I always struggle with this step here as far as like where to place it. Where do we place the, where do we place it? Okay, it's already unlocked. Great. Next thing I want to do here is open the front. And throughout this process, it might, and I'm not saying you have to, but it might be a good idea to roll down the windows. So that way, if we're not able to get this thing started for whatever reason, we still have access to the car and getting inside. Okay, now open the front. Let's just take a quick look before we disconnect the, uh, the high voltage connection. Now remember, this car, even though I'm going to unplug the 12 volt here, it still has a DC-DC converter which drives the system. So even if the battery's dead, it can still run off of that uh, DC-DC converter. So we need to disconnect the, the high voltage system. So here is our batteries right under there. Okay, let's pop this out right here, which is a nice jerk up. One, two, three. And as I pull this away, now we have a full view of our battery right here. Very cool. Okay, now I need to get into the rear here. And I need to undo these. Okay, so this one has the clips. Most of them you can just jerk straight up, but not this one, right here. So there's a little clip, and I'm gonna push it towards the center of the car. And while pushing, pull up. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, coming in on the other side. Come around, clip is right right here. Looks like on this one, instead of pushing towards the center of the car, I'm pushing towards the driver's side and then pulling up. Okay, so now we've got this whole thing up here. Let's go back to the other side. Okay, now back on the passenger side. Now that I can lift the seat up, lift it all the way up. You'll see that there's a cover here. We're gonna pull this cover, put it aside. And then this is to disconnect the contactors. So we're gonna put our finger in there and just push it down. And you heard a big click as the contactors turned off. There we go. Well, the car still powered up because the 12 volt is still on. Okay, and back to our battery here, which I previously exposed. As always, let's disconnect the negative first before anything else. Just don't want to run the risk. And as soon as I do this, you're going to hear things kind of power down. There we go. Okay, now with that disconnected, we can do the positive. go. Finally, this is what holds the battery in place. There we go. So unscrew that. Use that. Pop this off and then these slide to the side like that. So slide that out, pull it up, and there we go. One, two, three. All right. Awesome. Real quick, this tube, we're gonna have to plug it into the new one. So uh, I'll show you that next. Okay, so we got our new battery here. Uh, sorry, I forgot to throw this part. So this was on the old battery and I transferred it over. Actually, what I'm gonna do is let's put it, let's put it in this tube right here so it's ready to go. Okay, and so we got that on here and let's just push it to the side so it doesn't get bound up when we put the new battery in. Oh man, lead acid's so heavy. All right. Cool, so let's reverse the process. Start by sliding this sucker in. There we go. This piece goes on here. And this piece goes right here. All right, give the battery a good shake. Okay, looks good. Let's pop off this terminal. It's good to clean the terminal and actually put some grease on there. If you have it, I don't today. All right, pop that sucker in. 
great. Put the cover on. Negative terminal. All right. I'm first going to put this, uh, this piece that I was talking about earlier. It's a uh, breather tube. Great. I got my negative. Boom. Things are starting to power up. Tighten this guy down. Great. We can go ahead and wrap up here before putting on the contactors. So let's see, was it this way? Yes, it was. There we go. Satisfying click. Put this guy back. Okay, and let's call this in done. No, now we gotta go do the contactors. Okay, let's get our contactors back and connected here. Let's go, slide this over, push down really hard, and click into place. I heard the contactors go bum bum. Okay, let's put this little protective block here. And then maybe the hardest part of the whole operation is just getting the seat belts back in through these holes. Like, seriously. I feel like this is the hardest part. Okay, let me go to the other side. Okay. okay, it's in there. Great, and we are done. We hope you got something out of this. If so, would you hit that like button, or better still, hit that subscribe button. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin EV Only.